I think the e-cigarette market is unstoppable when it comes to demand from users, from smokers. Um, you know, I think it's one of those things like once you've seen it, you just once you've used it and found it satisfactory, you're just never going to go back. You know, in the same way that people don't go from colour telly to black and white, people will go into uh, people will go into e-cigarettes, and that will be it. I'm Clive Bates. Uh, I first got interested in this issue when I worked for ASH, that's Action on Smoking and Health, between 97 and 2003. I then went on to be uh, a civil servant working for the government, the UN, uh, the Environment Agency. And then most recently I've set up my own little consultancy and advocacy organisation and I run the Counterfactual blog. I'm not a user of any nicotine products at all actually, uh, but I care a lot about public health and I care more generally about public policy and doing the right thing. And this is a classic case study in doing the right thing by doing less as a government. No public health experts have approved them, no government money has been spent, no NHS resources have been consumed, no taxpayers have been harmed. It's, it's quite an extraordinary good thing about free markets allowing people to find their own way out of the uh, risks of smoking. The only cloud on the horizon is if this will all be throttled and smothered with red tape by excessive regulation. I think the instinct to regulate comes from you know, being very risk averse and wanting to avoid things going wrong. But the danger is different things go wrong. You, you have unintended consequences and the unintended consequence in this case would be that you make the products less attractive, you reduce innovation, you decrease the diversity of what's on the market, um, you change the marketing and packaging and general pro marketing proposition to make it more boring. The consequence is that you have a negative effect because fewer people switch and therefore more people continue to smoke. And that's the health impact, the negative health impact of excessive caution. A safe product, perfectly safe product that no one wants to use is no use to anybody. The basis of the statement from the MHRA really had um, two, there's two significant things in it. The first is an acknowledgement that this is all now being handled at EU level. So the unilateral effort that they were trying to make in 2010 is now out of time, really. They need to go with the European programme. And we remember when we talk about the MHRA and what experts they are, they wanted to ban these products within 21 days back in 2010. Um, thankfully, the vaping community um, overturned that. and We've got something a bit more sensible now. And the second thing that came out uh, in the announcement is the fact that the UK government will support the Commission's proposal when it's debated in the Council of Ministers. Um, really not much else, to be honest. We, we got a lot more detail. A lot of it, I have to say, completely unsatisfactory from an analytical point of view, but nevertheless, they have now exposed their thinking, which is helpful. Over the next three years, I, I think we'll see incredibly rapid growth. Uh, we don't yet know um, whether the 2016 date is real. The uh, fine print in the MHRA's announcement says that's the date the European Commission expects the EU directive will come into force. But it may, it may not come into force by then, it may be a year later, it may not come into force at all. And if it does come into force, it may be something different than medicines regulation. So all that is doing is rehearsing what the Commission would like to happen, the European Commission would like to happen. It isn't necessarily exactly what will happen, and what will happen will be determined by the politics of the European Council and the European Parliament, and that's where vapors and e-cigarette users have made great progress so far and can make even more progress in the run-up to the final decisions, which will be taken around the end of this year. So those that think it's all a hopeless and a waste of time, it's just so totally wrong. It is actually working, and now is the time to really put the pressure on them.